Hey guys, Jerry here with 3D Printing and Painting. TH3D Suit Studios just sent me out their Easy Flex Plate and their Easy Flex Magnetic Base and their Easy PEI Build Sheet that I'm going to be installing today on my TiVo Tarantula Pro. Let me run my intro and we'll get right to it. And here I got my TiVo Tarantula Pro all set up and ready to go. We're going to be taking off the Tarantula Pro build surface, which I've been using for quite a while. It does work very well, but it's starting to get kind of wore out. And we're going to put the Easy Flex Magnetic Base on it. The first thing we want to do is just slowly peel off this old build surface. And we have a little bit of glue and residue on it. So let me take my isopropyl alcohol and a rag. See if we can get all that excess off there. At least soften it up and I can take a razor blade to it. That balls up real easy. We want that magnetic base to be nice and flat without any bubbles, so it's best to get all this glue off and have any issues. And I'm not wearing gloves, just be very careful working with the razor blade if you choose to not wear gloves. I guess I could have heated it up, it might have helped a little bit. Let me spend a second here getting that cleaned up. Alrighty, got all the glue off there. It looks real good. Take the magnetic base. That's designed for an Ender 3. Let's see how it fits on here before we peel it off. It's just going to be a hair smaller than the TiVo build plate, which is fine, but nobody prints right up to the edge anyway. So that's going to work perfectly fine. So on the 3M backing, you get a corner started. You just start to peel off part of it. For the sake of the video, I'm going to start in the front corner here. Get lined up to start going back and forth, working it down. Got a plastic squeegee here if I need it. 
And I'll lift it up. I'll grab the paper backing. Slowly start to peel it off. I'm taking the squeegee and working it down from side to side. You really don't want no bubbles here. Sometimes it happens and you got to feather them out to the sides. Keep working it back and forth. And that looks real good. And let's just see how the build plate's going to look, look here. Flex plate. Yeah, it's got a lot of grab to it. We'll see how it does under temp. Okay, on the PEI sheet, one thing I want to mention to you guys: you have three layers here. You've got the back of paper that you remove. You've got the actual PEI itself, then you have a clear coated protective covering over the PEI. So be sure once you peel off the backing on the back, that's self adhesive, and you apply it to the uh, steel plate, that you before you start printing, you remove that clear coat that's on the front to protect the front of it, because that does come off. So as you can see, there's three layers there basically. and wipe this off real good. Same thing is going to apply on the PEI sheet. I'll carefully lay it down. And that protective coating that's on there last, don't remove that. So you get the PEI completely applied, just so you don't scar it up or damage it in any way. And slowly peel off the paper. Take your squeegee or whatever you're using for a flat edge. It's soft and won't damage the plastic PEI. Work it back and forth, slowly peeling it off. Working it forward to get over the, all the way to the edge. Go back over it and double check it real good. Okay, now we can take a razor knife. I should wear gloves, but I'm not gonna. Let's cut off the excess. Just carefully run it next to the aluminum bed.
Yeah, it looks good. And get this off my fingers. Boy, that stuff's to sure to stick. Okay, lastly, come back over, grab that protective coating that's on the PEI. Let's peel that off. And there we go, there we have it. You see any access that you missed on the PEI, you can trim it. A little bit of overhang won't hurt anything, but it always looks cleaner if you trim it off. We come over to our bill surface. Get it all lined up. And that looks awesome. Got a TH3D logo there. It says TH3D Easy Flex Plate. Easy 235-SS. Let me clean up my mess here and we'll get a print going. Of course, I'm going to have to re-level my bed because i got a change in thickness here. <coughs> so I'll auto home their primer, auto home their printer, and then I'll re-level the, we'll re the bed and we'll get a print going. Okay, guys, let's go to thingiverse.com and let's get a benchy. even find something cool here. Megadon bench, that's nice. Let's download that. I am not going to tip today. Okay, let's pull that into S3D and slice it real quick. And I downloaded this a bit ago, so... Nah, that's awfully little. Let's see. Pick my Tarantula Pro. There, I got the right build volume. Let's make it bigger. Oops. Go with 200%. Looks pretty good. Let's rotate him a little bit. I don't want to get the line on the print. And since it usually happens straight off this back corner, I try to turn my prints as much as possible. That looks pretty good. Okay, infill. We want to get down to about 5%. 2.0 is fine. Layer height. 654 on layers. I'll make him really super heavy duty. We don't need a wrap. We don't need support. Okay. So it's going to take about seven hours. Yeah, that'll print up real nice. That'll be a nice test for the build plate. So let me save this. Let me drop this on this SD card and we'll get printing, guys. Since I'm not that familiar with PEI and its adhesion, I went ahead and scuffed up the build surface, the PEI sheet with sandpaper. And then I went over it with a uh, uh, steel wool pad here real well. And I wiped it down with isopropyl alcohol so I don't have fingerprints on it whatsoever. Also, I, on my first layer, I've slowed it down to 20%. And I've cranked up my temp to 215. And then after the first layer, it'll go back to 210. So, because I hear with PEI, you need to slow down in your first layer to get proper adhesion. So this is a new thing for me. I've been printing for about two and a half years, but I've never worked with a PEI sheet before. So it's warming up, and I'm going to time lapse this, and I'll be right back when it's done.
Well, it's all done. For the sake of the video, I left the bed on a 60 degrees. Let's see how good this magnetic base grabs here. Pull all the way forward. Yeah, it's not moving. I can't pull it off. Lifts up easy enough. And the print is loose that easy. I had a little bit of a support failure here on a fin and on the back. So I got a few PEI settings I need to figure out here. Whether I didn't scuff up the surface well enough or I need to get the nozzle dialed in a little better. Get a little bit closer on the bed. But other than that, it printed out real nice. And as far as the sheet goes, which is still nice and warm. That flex, flex plate worked great. Have to try it on a much larger print, but it's got plenty of adhesion. On my next video, I'm going to be installing the Easy AVL on the TiVo Tarantula Pro and a filament runout sensor. So stay tuned for my next video, guys, and you'll see me do some more uh, technical stuff here on the TiVo, some upgrades on it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.